Hello everyone, it's Mitch and Lita with another taste test. This one's going to be really informal uh, and not like our usual ones. You may have noticed that we bought these from the Dollar Tree a couple videos ago. And this brand used to be really super expensive. Uh, something that I used to sell at the health food store that I worked at. And... <sighs> Let me tell you, yeah, it was a store. lot more expensive, what, over 20 years ago yeah. than it is now because we literally found this for $1 at the Dollar Tree. We also found this little packet of tuna, so we're going to put that on a cracker and give it a try. But let's go ahead, we're going to pop this in the microwave, and in 60 seconds, we're going to have a meal. So let's go ahead and let's just try it. See what we got. <laughs> Okay, it didn't look like much um, squeezing out of this bag. <laughs> kind of kept the shape of the bag a little too well. Yeah, and it certainly doesn't look like the picture. Um, so we will see, but... Less colorful than the picture, yeah. As we know, looks doesn't always mean that it's going to taste bad. Um, as you'll notice, we're actually trying the Greek bowl this time. They also had a Hawaiian bowl, and they actually have a third one, but the Dollar Tree I went into was sold out of the third one. So hopefully I'll be able to grab that one uh, soon. Okay. Are we ready? I don't know. I know. I'm a little worried. Okay. Looks a little gelatinous. <laughs> you shall see. I like jello. <laughs> It's not bad. It's not. It's the the Greek to me like it tastes the olive is very strong. Yeah, the olives are strong. Um and I'm not a huge olive fan. Mm. But, and the lemon flavor. But I think it's leveled out enough. It's got enough texture to it. It's really mm. not bad. I mean I'd eat it again. Yeah, it really isn't yeah. bad. Um I think, like, for me, the lemon flavor is a little strong, but it has a good amount of chickpeas in it. Yeah. And, you know, as a side dish or as part of a stir fry or, or just, like, just a, a quick really lunch, quick meal. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's bad. No, I mean, um, for a dollar, yeah. like, I'm not sure you're going to get a, for a, a whole lot right anywhere, yeah. And this is vegan, so if you're a vegan... Yeah. If you can get something for a dollar that actually tastes decent, like if, you yeah. know, if you're a vegan on the run <laughs> and sometimes you just like need some quick things that you can throw together or throw in your lunchbox, I don't think that's a bad option. No, not at all. Like kudos to the Dollar Tree for carrying something like this. This is a nationally recognized brand. vegan brand. Yeah. yeah um, that a lot of people have enjoyed for like over 20 years. So, yeah, I mean, there you go. I like it. Yeah. So, let's go ahead. This one is going to be a little different. I got some wheat thins. I thought maybe a plain cracker would be better <laughs> because this is sesame ginger. Ooh. So, yeah. So, let's put a little bit of this on a cracker and we're going to see. This is supposed to substitute tuna packets. Moment of truth. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so that's got real soy sauce in it. Yeah. But it's also got real ginger. Yeah. It's not like, you know, ginger powder or ginger mm -hmm. flavor, which... You can definitely tell the difference. Yeah. This has got real ginger in it. It's not too strong, but it's actually really good. You definitely know it's in there. The soy sauce is really well balanced, I thought. Yeah. Not overly salty. It's not like you put it in there and you're just like getting a burst of salt packet in your mouth. So I actually really enjoy that. 
It's super flavorful. Yeah, I was going to say the flavor is actually like I've had some of the tuna packets similar to this that are like pre-flavored some too yeah and i actually like the flavor of this better as a vegan substitute for tuna and i mean there's a lot of different reasons why somebody might not eat tuna um right. some people might be scared of like the pollutants um that are in the water um some people might not like you know if it's Just not sustainably sourced yeah, yeah overfishing that kind of thing um there's a lot of reasons why you would want a product like this yeah and it's actually, I'm kind of surprised. This is the yeah. one I had the least hopes on out of the three. And as usual, it's the one that surprised me the most <laughs> and the one I actually like. Yeah. In fact, is I think I like it a little better than the Greek bowl. Um, but, you know, so that's... for just like a in-between meal snack kind of thing. Yeah, yeah this is great. I mean, and this is something you could definitely take to work. You know, without having to refrigerate it um, beforehand. Yeah. So this is like that a and some really crackers. yeah yeah this is a really great convenient vegan food for one dollar. Yeah. I mean, really, we're stressing that a lot, but this is kind of unheard of. I mean, obviously, I was not selling this brand for a dollar almost twenty years ago <laughs> at so, the yeah. store. So there you go. I think these are definitely, uh, whether you're a vegan or not, I think these are definitely worth a pickup and a try. Yeah. Um, if you stop at your local Dollar Tree and they happen to have these on the shelf, I think it's a really great lunch idea, really great snack idea, and at a dollar, you can't beat it. So definitely. there you go. Uh, if we find any more surprising things at the Dollar Tree, we'll be sure to pick those up and give them a quick taste test. Now, next week on a Monday is going to be our soup for supper. So I've got really good soup lined up for that one. Stay tuned for that. And we'll see you next time. Bye. And if you like historical cooking and unusual cookbooks, here's two more videos you might enjoy. And make sure to like and subscribe for more foodie adventures.